Alright guys, I've been up since I would say 8 o'clock in the morning and I've been working on listing the lefty shears. So part of listing a lefty shear, number one, a shear, you gotta have the, the exact like dimensions, you gotta have the exact weight, you know, for shipping purposes, um, because the website will automate it's connected to like USPS or like a third party shipping um, site that we pay for. And it automatically will, because of the weight and the dimensions, it'll come up with whatever the shipping cost will be. So that's got to be on point. I got to go to my photography area for my products, which I have set up over here. It's a permanent spot. And then I got to bring it up on Photoshop and make sure the white the white background is really nice and white and everything just stands out. Um, so that when it's listed, it catches your eye. Between, whether it's on Amazon, whether it's on our 245 site. And even when I post it on social media, so it's official. Lefty, lefty Evo six inch shears are in, and excited to announce it. And so the way that I'm gonna announce it is just like I do with anything. I post it on Instagram in my stories. I don't really like to. I don't really like to have my main page full of products. I'll do it on my Instagram stories. I might talk about it in one of my YouTube videos, um, but I'm not really one to um to promote products so much you know what i'm saying like if you want to if you want to see what 245 has to offer come visit the site hopefully we, we get some sales but most of my social media stuff is supposed to be or i try to make it so that it's 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 mostly something that that's educational something that's motivational you feel like you're spending your time wisely and you're not getting hit with a whole bunch of spam also what i got done today is i finished the vlog that i did yesterday and um did that did that a little bit last night started probably editing like at 11 o'clock at night and then um while we were watching claws i don't know if you guys watch claws but that show is lit so kind of doing both while my wife is there trying to do trying to juggle spending time with her watching the show with her and continuing to edit the vlog and this morning i got up finish the vlog off um, on top of my other tasks that I had to do so that's uploading right now I lied that it's starting it's um, exporting right now so that percentage right there that you see that's it exporting I had this really nice new MacBook but you gotta start somewhere when I first started my YouTube channel I had a old old uh, a Windows laptop and then I went on um, offer up I think it was either either offer up or Facebook and I bought an old 2009 MacBook and that's what I used for the last literally like three years and um, I just recently got this one maybe like a month or two ago so you know it takes time man but I wouldn't go right away and spend you know the type of money that MacBooks cost, new MacBooks cost, but I would I would definitely start off with a used one. I got mine for like 300 bucks. <sighs> it's unfortunate, but I'm still here. It seems like as you work and you finish new you finish things, new tasks that you were supposed to get done, another task will pop up. You'll get more messages, more emails. It's like it's never it never stops. It's always ongoing. And as as time as time goes, it'll start to become overwhelming, and that's when you gotta ask for help. That's when you gotta find somebody else's time to leverage to be able to take care of some of the small tasks that really my time isn't worth um, using on, right? And what I mean by that is, should I be here making a thumbnail or should I outsource that? Should I spend an hour making a thumbnail or should I outsource it so I can use that hour to edit or record content or work on the business or work on customer service? Should I be doing customer service or should I hire someone to take care of that for me? Because in the beginning, you get a, a email a day, two emails a day, four emails a day. You can manage that. But when you start getting 20 a day, Okay, I'm spending too much time now on this. It's time to outsource it. We have a lot of different companies and they're all they're all growing. All some growing faster than others, but this is a common this is a constant battle and it's something that you learn when you're in business. And I don't think business like this is one of the reasons why I say business school isn't necessary because this is the type of stuff you'll never learn in school. Like they can't teach you this. You got to go through it. You got to learn. You got to go through the journey, through the process. That's the best school. All right, so as you guys can see, the thumbnail was made. Now it's time to make it public. And this is what a YouTuber's most important thing is, and that's to hit the upload button. And we live. We live. All right, guys, we are going to run some errands. Today's project is step up my office. <laughs> Um, what I want to do is I want to make it specifically for work to, to be the best work environment possible so I could be Hi. as efficient as possible. Go ahead, get it out of your system. Hi. <laughs> I got a I want to show you. Your, what are you going to show them? My uh, two other ones. Oh, so this one's off. shorty. Okay. And then this one's rainbow. Shorty and rainbow. Shorty. Very cute. Can you shorty. put your seatbelt on? Shorty and rainbow are friends. That's right. Now put your seatbelt on, little girl. Little girl. 
All right, so I want to make it the most efficient work environment possible. I just want to be able to go there, just unplug and just, not unplug, what am I talking about? Just go in there and be focused as hell and not have to worry about setting anything up. Just, will you, will you, will you stop? Why are you, why are you playing with me? Oh, the camera's on you. Now, now things have changed. Okay, I'm about to put my eyebrows on. So, gonna go get a, uh, so we got two monitors. That way I can hook up my MacBook and just work on two monitors. Um, I'm gonna go get the the apple the apple uh mouse basically he got money no to say. no and then i'm gonna go get a desk that you can adjust to be sitting down or or standing up and then we're gonna get the little thing that that you hook to the desk and then put the monitors on so it's gonna be it's gonna be a really nice workstation all right guys yo so real quick this is a um a tip for you guys who want to eat healthy but are on the go constantly like it's really hard for me to get good meals in sometimes in the most inconvenient places like other countries or in the airport, whatever, or on the road. But um, find something that is, doesn't have a, a whole lot of sodium and stuff in it. And uh, usually the peppered flavor has the most protein. So, beef. You guys ever met somebody that when he gets into something, when he has his mindset on something, he goes all in. Like all in, obsessed. That's your boy, that's me. Just got back shopping and you can see we got a whole lot of goodies. Wait till y'all see what I got going on. And ready? Ready? Ready to see it? You guys ready to see it? Here we go. And there it is. There's the finished result. Because IKEA sucks. IKEA, you suck. Okay? This desk right here, never buy this desk. Never. As soon as I plug it in, it doesn't work. None of the electricals work. I just spent... All this time, you guys know how IKEA tables are, how IKEA furniture in general is. Spent all this time building this damn table just for the electrical part not to work. And then I Google the damn desk and it's a common issue. It got a two star rating. I'm returning this damn thing tomorrow. I want my money back and I'm suing IKEA for a lost time. Nah, you know what? IKEA, I'm not done with you. You ruined my night. You ruined. My night. I could have been editing video. I could have been working on something. I could have been working. I could have been. I could have been spending time with my family. You ruined my life. Okay. I hate you, IKEA. On a serious note, though, guys, I'm going to return this. I'm gonna pick up one that I saw at Office Depot on sale for like 300 bucks. Um, I saw it on sale when I went to pick up my mouse. So I wish I would just get went and got my mouse first, and I would have bought that desk. So I just bought this for my dual monitors, but for now it's just gonna have to sit on the desk I have now. But check out the setup I got. All right, so here's the setup. So I got the MacBook keyboard. My MacBook is powering all of this, okay? Got the MacBook keyboard. This right here, everybody was, was swearing by. Everybody said this was like the most legit mouse out there. This is the MX Master S or 2S or something like that. It's supposed to be like the best mouse on the planet. Then I have a monitor, a large, uh, a Samsung monitor, another Samsung monitor. I have my Rode um, Yeti mic right there, and uh, this hub right here is pretty much where everything's plugging into with some adapters. So that's what I'm trying to set up, but with a, a sit stand um, desk that I can I can electronically with a button push to lift it up so where I can stand and work, or with a button I can push it down. So I can sit down and work. And then both of those monitors will be attached to those, to that bracket that I showed you. So I'm excited for it. I just wish that desk would have been working. But anyways, now that I'm set up, I'm going to get to work. I'm going to finish this vlog and uh, probably upload, upload this tomorrow. So it is Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. So yeah, if you guys like the setup, if you have any ideas that would help me with my productivity and improve my setup, let me know, guys.